Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana, the podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, everybody. I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Have you ever wondered if you spend too many hours looking at your cell phone or maybe the computer? There's an expression in English that I quite like called being hooked. It means to be excessively attracted to something and almost unable to resist it. I have to admit that sometimes I spend too much time checking my cell phone. My intentions are good. For example, I start watching the daily news and I end up without knowing how watching videos on YouTube. Maybe it's all a conspiracy of the whole internet to distract me from doing the podcast episode of the week. Everything is designed to capture your attention. As I'm sure you know, everything you do on the internet leaves a trace. So a lot of content is matched to your interest. For example, on Facebook, there is a video section. These videos are customized to your interest, and some of them really capture your attention. This creates all kinds of problems, both for teens and adults. Many kids find it difficult concentrating and studying. Every few minutes, they pick up the phone to see if they have new notifications or messages. Many specialists point out that this type of behavior can be classified as an addiction, and it affects everyone, regardless of age. Children imitate their parents, thus normalizing this behavior. Here's a small list of some typical symptoms of being hooked on a cell phone. You check it every two to three minutes. When you wake up, the first thing you do is looking at your cell phone and the last thing when you go to sleep too. The truth is that it's very common to check your phone just when you woke up. I like doing that. At night, I prefer to read a bit. You check your phone when you're with friends or family. It's sad, but in many family gatherings, we all check our cell phones at some point. You eat while looking at your cell phone. If you're alone, you unlock your phone and start moving your finger vertically while disconnecting completely from real life. If you leave your phone at home, it feels like it's the end of the world. And you cannot know for sure if it's the end of the world because you can't check it on your phone. After making this list, it seems to me that I'm a little bit hooked, but only a little bit. I have a friend who uses an old phone with no internet, no touch screen, and no modern phone features. He uses the phone to call and be located. At first, I thought he was crazy, but maybe he's not so mad after all. Well, today we've seen a current issue that affects us in one way or another. Although sometimes being hooked on something can be beneficial. For example, if you're hooked on my podcast, then it's great because your English is improving a lot. Now, let's continue with a mini story. How does it work? I give you the information and I ask you simple questions. After each question, there is a pause where you can answer. After the pause, I give you a correct answer for you to compare. Easy, right? Well, at first, it may be a little more complicated. I recommend that you listen several times until it's easy to answer. Sometimes I call it a conversation simulator because you practice your English like in a real conversation. Let's start. 
Jim was very conscientious about the use of time. Was Jim a very conscientious man? Yes, he was conscientious. Being conscientious means paying a lot of attention to detail. Was Jim very conscientious about the use of money? No, not with the use of money. With the use of time, he was conscientious about the use of time. With what? With the use of time, Jim was concerned about the time people spend on their cell phones. Was Jim concerned about the weather? No, not the weather. He was concerned about the time people spend on their cell phones. What did people spend their time with? Cell phones. People spend time on their cell phones. What did people spend their time with? Cell phones. People. Spend time on their cell phones, and who cared about that? Jim. Jim was worried. Jim developed a sophisticated mobile app. Did Jim develop a poor computer app? No, not a poor computer app. He developed a sophisticated mobile app. What type of app was it? Mobile. It was a mobile app. You can also say a cell phone instead of a mobile. The app helped people. To use their cell phones less. What help people to use their cell phone less? The app. The app help people to use their cell phones less. Who did the app help? People. The app helped people. The app was so successful that everyone gradually stopped using the mobile. Was the app successful? Yes, it was successful. The app was successful. Did everyone stop using computers? No, not computers. Everyone gradually stopped using their cell phones. Gradually or suddenly? Gradually. Suddenly means quickly and unexpectedly. In the end, nobody needed the app, so Jim didn't sell a single one. Did Jim sell any apps? No, Jim didn't sell any. Why didn't he sell? Because nobody needed the app, that was the reason. 
What didn't he sell? The app. Jim didn't sell a single app. Very good. It's the end of this story. And as you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech just like in a real conversation. Let me ask you something. Is my podcast helping you with your English? Though the podcast is a useful resource, I can hardly develop these lessons because of time limitations, although they allow you to try out my method. So if you are serious about learning English, I recommend you my premium courses. Get my English courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. That's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.